The Great Saharan Desert within northern Africa contains a number of little studied yet fascinating geologic features. For example, this dark colored patch of ground represents the potentially active Wa an Namas volcano, which produced a relatively recent caldera forming eruption that covered 250 square kilometers in a thick layer of ash. The wind direction at the time of the eruption is quite obvious, as a dark colored trail of ash can be seen drifting to the southwest. Another geologic oddity in the region is this raised platform within Algeria, which contains three layers of rings radiating outwards from a central location. Known as the Tinbider Impact Crater, it measures 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles wide and is the largest confirmed impact crater in all of Algeria. The Tinbider Crater is located in central eastern Algeria, where it is centered 260 kilometers east of the city of Insala. This crater originated approximately 64 million years ago when a 410 meter or 1,345 foot wide asteroid was on a collision course with Earth. This asteroid originated in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and perhaps represented a fragment of a collision between two larger asteroids. As it approached the planet, it was further accelerated by the pull of both the Sun and Earth's gravity. Finally entering the planet's upper atmosphere, it was traveling at 16 kilometers per second or 36,000 miles per hour. At the time, the vast Saharan desert had yet to form and instead the landscape was colored green due to abundant forests and grasslands. Animals who lived in the region, such as the mammal Hyanodonta, may have looked upwards and seen a bright streak of light travel across the sky. At a height of 56,000 meters, the asteroid began breaking apart into a chain of several pieces. Moments later, these pieces struck the ground in a 1 km radius, generating a powerful explosion equivalent in energy to the detonation of 3,000 megatons of TNT. This pulverized a large section of crust, causing underlying rock to act like a viscous liquid as it propagated up and down like a wave while also instantaneously creating a series of large fault lines. This sloshing in mere hours created a series of ring fractures within the crater. Each layer going outwards from the center had a higher elevation. While this was occurring, a powerful shockwave raced outwards in all directions, causing all trees to be flattened and debarked in a 45 km radius as 261 mile per hour winds hit. Due to the intense thermal radiation, anything organic within a 55 km radius burst into flame. Expanding outwards, almost all vegetation was flattened in a 90 km radius, while all creatures sustained first degree burns in a 95 km radius. This shockwave continued to dissipate, but still caused tree damage as far as 140 kilometers distant. In what is now the capital city, Algiers, a very light dusting of one ten thousandth of an inch of ash would fall. Once the dust and ash had cleared, what remained was a 6 km wide and 500 meter deep impact crater with a series of ring-shaped ridges. The reason why this impact crater remains in the landscape today relates to the impact itself. It compressed and deformed the underlying rock, thus making it harder and more resistant to erosion. This is why the crater is surrounded by a relatively flat desert plain. As a final note, this impact crater has the possibility of being linked to the distant Warkzes crater in Algeria, as both appear to have formed at about the same time in Earth's geologic history. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Richard J. Manning for supporting this channel.